Hello and thanks for staying with us. This week edition of the program Custom Support will bring you some of the past editions of the program as related to seizure by most command all over the country. Also, the Customs Image Maker speaks on the just declared open border by the Nigerian government. Plus, more report. I am Egeseme Etienne. Stay tuned. In 2020, in spite of the COVID-19, Customs has continued to generate more revenue for the country. While the issue of seizures has continued to increase in spite of the lockdown of the border for the past 16 months, some other controllers were changed while some were also elevated to the post of Assistant Controller General of Customs. The command arrested some men who broke and opened a 1 by 40 feet container comprising of drugs constructively warehoused and loaded them into two vehicles a Mercedes-Benz Jeep with registration number EPE828AR and a Toyota Camry with registra registration number EKY159BD. Items stuck in the two cars are 14 cartons, each of 50 packs per carton, and 49 extra packs of cold time tablets four cartons, each containing 22 packs per carton, and 10 extra packets of really extra analgesic. Two cartons, each containing 60 packets per carton of tramadol tablets, and one carton and 10 packs of really extra analgesic and anti-inflammatory tablets. An interim committee was immediately set up to investigate the incident with the five suspects and the vehicle detained as a den. An exhibit of one million naira was recovered for an officer who was instructed to play along the deal in order to get to the architect of the conspiracy. Five suspects have been transferred now to court for prosecution. It is highly regrettable to note that while well, Nigerian Customs Service is working around the clock to free this, cost, uh, this country of illicit goods, some very, very unpatriotic citizens are not relenting in their desperate urge to sabotage our efforts by importing and spreading these harmful drugs. Nigerian Customs Service is posed to leaving no stone unturned at ensuring that these perpetrators know no sleep as long as they refuse to give up. However, the command advises them to desist as crime pays not. I say you should play along. In fact, many a times in my office, you will place a call to them, place them on speakerphone. They promise in 12 million. And as deposit, it was offered five million naira, which we are using in one million naira, which we are using as exhibit. And immediately they exit, they will give in the balance of eleven million naira. So we were monitoring them closely until when they were nab. They are in their prime age, so why should they indulge in this? And this is why we want them prosecuted so that it will serve as deterrent to others. It's a cartel. According to the area controller, the 13 billion naira generated in September 2020 alone is the highest monthly revenue generated since the creation of Area 2 Command about 37 years ago. He said that the command will continue to block leakages of revenue within the system, and anyone caught trying to sabotage the government will face the law. He urged stakeholders to continue to promote the good working relationship with the command. The only appeal and advice I want to give to the stakeholders here at ONE is there must be true and proper declaration. Once there is declaration, our problems are solved. The system is programmed in such a way that an importer can finish clearing his cargo before the arrival of the cargo, in the sense that once you open your Form M, you get your PA, you make payment of duty, and you make true declaration. Immediately your cargo landed. It will not take 24 hours. 
customs will conduct proper examination and if it tallies with what you declare, your cargo will be released to you. So the command processed a total of 18,000 metric tons of export, rather than $6 million. Anybody, no matter his status or level in the society, if you contravene the laws governing the importation here in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, appropriate action and sanctions will, will be made to you. The goods will be seized and the agent or importer will be prosecuted in a competent court of law. On anti smuggling activities, the command recorded some seizures which comprises 400 bundles of used tires, 100 pieces of motor radiators, 24 bags of raw hardwood. The command also seized 100 pieces of car fans and 4 units of bedded trailer value at 99 million naira. Era controller in charge of the border said that the command will also fight smugglers who are undermining government policies. So says that in spite of the COVID-19, some people are still trying to smuggle consignments alongside with cannabis into the country. The custom boss also displays some seized items as seized by members of his men. Not produced in Nigeria. It is foreign. They use unapproved route to enter, but to deceive. They don't just carry the stuff, they equally put rice under it. There is rice under it by the door panel, even in the bonnet. For goodness sake, how safe is such a vehicle? And it will be plying our road. Especially the safety, because one of our core duties is protection of society. So what happened to the driver of this vehicle? How, how did the, when, he was, when they flagged him on sighting the officers, he jumped out of the vehicle, even, and entered the bush. But we have one thing. Since nobody is legalized to shoot to kill, when you see such, you allow them. When they run, you forget. We can do further investigation. If we're able to trace it to the owner, we apprehend. So he jumped out of the motor and escaped. But he cannot escape with the goose. See rise by all the panel including the bonnet. See how this rice is. This can cause fire in the vehicle. And if there is fire on the highway, not only the person driving it, but other members of the public are endangered as well. That is a real danger associated with it. Then, where is the one carrying nylon? Okay, is there. Is there. You can see used tires. See the condition of the tires. Most of them have expired. But some Nigerians will go and buy it and lower the price and deceive people. These are the type of tires that if you are driving, the tire will just burst on speed and there will be accident and fatalities might occur. That is why the government said no used pneumatic tire should be allowed into the country. You can see rice at the background. Uh, this one is a holding place. These are seizures of either yesterday or between yesterday and today. Their main warehouse is there at Idiroko border and at Abiokuta. And if you go there, we have right now, we have well over 14,000 bags of rice. How will our people get jobs? If common nylon we cannot produce, and why a country that produces uh, petroleum products, these are things that they buy products of the industry can be used to produce this. But on patriotic Nigerians, go as far as bringing leather. This is normal leather. No matter what they, they want to gain, we don't know. Can you see this? This is an absolute act of unpatriotism. So I cannot imagine. We should be able to, we have companies that can produce this. And they continue to do it. See these uh, cartons? How many cartons? These are 187. How many inside one? 60. 60. These are products of Ghana, cutlass. Bring one out. People go to Ghana to bring cutlass. The border is closed. Here they defy authority. So my patrol intercepted the truck. It was carrying this cutlass, carrying some snuff, another uh, chemicals, what they call black soap was the content with all these cutlass. For once, I think we should be patriotic. Beyond the external appearance, they should suspect everything they see. 
because that is the thing, and we should testify intelligence so that this type of uh, this thing does not occur. Because we can't be checking everybody, but let us work on the intelligence so that with that intelligence, I believe we'll get at them. Yeah, with this. Uh, I commend the effort along with uh, officers of the drill that are tied to Ogun State. They are working very hard. And I'll tell them, it is not to go up that matter, but to sustain that level. We should continue to make this place a place, a no-go area for smugglers. Everybody knows that this is a notorious area. But since we have come this far, we cannot relent. We have to continue to suppress the smugglers and their smuggling activities. We have to continue to be on them so that they cannot use Ogun State. That is my jurisdiction. They cannot use here. Let them find where to go. They will still meet custom officers and other agencies that will deal with them there. No. You see, when you have been given a national duty, it involves taking individual risk to even do it. We take risk, but to the level of our ability, we try to wear masks so that, and we observe safe distances wherever possible. But when it comes to apprehending, we cannot, because of COVID-19, abandon such a, a feat, a, an item. We have to take it at the risk of our life because this is a national duty which we must carry out. So with COVID-19, it's additional risk. But we cannot, because of that risk, abandon our legitimate duties. I only want to appeal to people, to the public, that let us take the COVID-19 serious. It's a serious matter. The level of killing, the death resulting from it is not a child play. But some of them, when you tell them, since they, their own brother from their house is not yet dead, they don't believe that it's there. That is it. But we try to, in addition to engaging them, we try to talk to them, take it seriously. When they say there is lockdown, you still go across border and bring things, endangering other people's lives, including their own family. So that is the message I have for them. The seizure includes 1,706 bags of frozen rice. The controller also made seizure of 24 vehicles smuggled through the unapproved route into the country. Controller Bello, Jibu has this to say. Security agents, they pretend to be belonging to any of our security agencies around. So they decide to bring our banner and put in the car OC car or car sticker. And they come along the way, an officer will think this is a fellow, a colleague from another security agency. So in the spirit of uh, Esprit de Corps, we decided somebody can say, okay, you can go. But uh, most of the times we stop them, please, can you identify yourself? After identification, then we go f forward to find out from him, can we see the documents of this vehicle? And that is where problem starts. We are already used to, to them and we know them. And we know most of the times they are lying. And once we ask for this document, they run away. You never see them again. And that's why you see most of these vehicles, you not find any dependent there. Thank you. So most of the times we go to such places where they park these vehicles. Immediately we get there, they all run away. But the vehicles will be closed. The keys will not be there. At times we have to break the glass before we can be able to toy. Most of them are towed. Have you understand? We told them from that parking place to this place. So we have to break the glasses in order to have access to the vehicle. Some of our achievements and successes within the period of since I assume duty as an area controller. And that period spans from the time of uh, NSAS protest to the present time as I, I'm talking to you now. Uh, I decided to come here so that we should see physically what we are able to do within this time, I've just said. And uh, that uh, has to do with our anti-smuggling activities alone. And uh, behind me, you can see a number of vehicles that were apprehended or intercepted from uh, smugglers, that is uh, uh, some economic saboteurs that wanted to beat uh, the eagle eyes of the customs. But unfortunately for them, they could not make it. Uh, 
from here. You can see this is Lafour 2017 model. Uh, it has a ticket value of 7 million 248,909 and uh, presently it's uh, under detention. Normally, we give a period, a grace period of one month for the owner if he feels he has any documents to show us so I can come and prove that this vehicle was not uh, smuggled into the country. And as you can see, within that short period, I think we are able to make a substantial arrest. We met uh, that within a period of seven months, I think we were able to make seven weeks. Sir. Seven weeks. We were able to make a uh, arrest of almost 24 vehicles that were smuggled into the country. It's very an unprecedented uh, achievement. Zab, almost all these vehicles you have seen, they have uh, registered plate numbers. Yes. So what they do, some of them, before bringing them into the country, they have already gotten the chassis number, the model of the vehicle. They go into the country and register them with Nigerian plate number. I mean, they come once they are intercepted, go and bring your custom documents, they don't have. So most of them don't come back. But those that come back, once we check through our system, we find out that it's uh, normally not there. So most of them are fake. The explain that he has repositioned the operational strategies of the command to increase the tempo of anti-smuggling with the border. Quantity of rice that was intercepted within that uh, seven weeks, we were able to have 1,716 bags of foreign fiber rice, 50 kg, kg each, and uh, with a duty value of 61 million. 491,544,000. Uh, these are equally intercepted within that period. You see, I, why I decided to include the period of answers. There was a period uh, when somebody said customs were not on the road. But uh, semi era command, there was never a time that we left our duty post either during protests, whatever, everybody reports to his duty post. We never left our duty post. Uh, Rice, especially, they were arrested at Waterside. What is the name of the Waterside? Erekiti. Erekiti. Erekiti Waterside. So it happened this morning, and as you are here, they brought them, so you can see for yourself, this is what we go through. So, yes. So most of the times, we go to where they are about to evacuate, because they don't carry them in bulk on this road. But at times, we get information, we strike to that same place. Yeah, well, what like about it? We pack them, ready for evacuation, so you don't find anybody. They normally do it maybe at a time when they don't expect to see anybody. So that's the time our officers went today and evacuated all this, just this morning. You are watching the program, Custom Support. The controller in charge of Air For You Zombie has been speaking on the seizure made by Smen in the region. He said that the arrested smugglers will be made to face the law. By the grace of God, I resumed here about two weeks ago. And I'm glad that I'm meeting a beautiful family that, inshallah, we won't work together to ensure the success of our endeavors. As you all know, friends are very important. They can make Oma. Before now, I ran away from press, but I have no alternative than to remain with you because I know we are partners in progress. We are here today to witness a very important task that we achieved within this uh, short time of my assumption. This seizure was made possible by incredible information received from some of our stakeholders. Other agencies sincerely performed wonderfully by cooperating to ensure this schedule is properly secured. Without the cooperation of other agencies, 
this thing cannot be, cannot be possible. It is a part that you know I know. No one can do it alone. If you want to do it alone, it is going to be shy. If you want it clean, you must carry people along. So that at the end of the day, you will be able to achieve what you are expected to achieve. The agencies where this thing happened, in Yauli, Zamare, Otasite, sincerely cooperated a lot. The police are there, the SSS are there, civil defense are there, even vigilantes were there, and they cooperated to a larger extent. That's why today we are celebrating this monumental achievement that every Nigerian is expected to be happy with. If this has kept us, only go nowhere to land. So please, I'm appealing. All, all of us here are stakeholders. You don't need to be a uniform, you don't need to, to be a journalist, you don't need to be what? Any information that will lead to this type of situation, this type of arrest, please, we want it. You can give us information and be assured that your identity will not be repeated. The country Nigeria of Nigeria. The image maker of the Nigerian Customs Service had been speaking on the four borders just declared open by the federal government. So the Nigerian government we continue to implement our rules and govern the importation of all consignment into the country. It speaks more on the borders just declared open by the government. Well, I think it's important to make it very clear that the uh, land border reopening is not an invitation to uh, the bringing in of uh, all sorts of uh, goods, both uh, prohibited and non prohibited. The law still remains the law. Uh, for starters, I think it's clear by now that things such as uh, uh, rice, frozen chicken uh, cannot be brought in. And then goods that have remained under absolute prohibition, such as uh, uh, India Ham, uh, Tramadol, arms and ammunition, used clothing. Uh, used tires and others cannot be brought in. Uh, let's not let people not begin to uh, deceive themselves that because the land border borders are now open, it's an invitation to all sorts of uh, uh, criminalities. What we have gained as a nation uh, during this period of uh, uh, land border closure to movement of uh, goods uh, is the fact that. Um, the diplomatic engagements that took place have extracted commitments uh, from our neighbors that going forward uh, there will be strict adherence to uh, the dictates of the ECOWAS uh, protocol on transit. Uh, we insist that going forward goods that uh, pass through our neighboring uh, ports on transit to Nigeria must arrive at the, the Nigerian land borders in their original uh, form. Unlike before, when uh, such containers will be broken open and transloaded and uh, thereby uh, making border security and even revenue generation near impossible for us. So that, that, that's a huge achievement on that part. And then on the part of border security, the tripartite meetings that took place severally uh, between Nigeria, Benin and Nigerian customs administrations uh, led to the establishment of the joint uh, uh, border patrol on uh, both sides of uh, the border. And uh, the leaders of such teams uh, have connectivity, they link up to share intelligence and uh, share experiences. Just before round of this week edition of the program Custom Support, we brought you a report where the image maker of the Nigerian Custom Service has been seen that Nigerian borders just declared open by government we continue to implement our government policies. For me, Egesemi Etienne, thanks for watching.